y'all doing? My name's Tyler Jackson. Currently I'm on US Highway 177 South, better known as Bill Snyder Highway. Tomorrow my sixth ranked Kansas State Wildcats are going to be taking on the Iowa State Cyclones at Jack Trice Stadium in, in Ames. I'm setting out for an adventure. This adventure is going to be called the Robert Lipson Project. Now this video, don't get me wrong, is in no way, shape, or form going to be going to be mocking the real Robert Lipson. Now, if you know who Robert Lipson is, or if you don't know who he is, he is a K-State super fan that hasn't missed a conference Cats road game since 1973. He's been to every single one. 150, he hit his 150th milestone last year. That's quite remarkable. Now you need to look inside to the man himself. You know, he does it about as basic as you can get. The guy goes down there alone. He has his giant number one foam finger. He takes banana chips. I've got banana chips I'm going to be eating. He sleeps in his truck. I'm going to be sleeping in my Jeep Patriot right now, tonight, whenever I get to Ames. Robert Lipson is a man that represents everything that Kansas State is itself. Clear mind, full heart, can't lose. Now he's got dedication, he's got perseverance. Snowstorm, that doesn't matter. Rainstorm, that doesn't matter. Tornadoes, hail, what the hell is that? Is this game at Iowa State tomorrow gonna be a trap game? You know, they're, they're, very, they're very well coached. They've got some great players on that team. But I think we'll get it done. We'll get it done. Point spread is the Cats by seven, the over-under is 49. I'll take the Cats in the overall day long on this team. You know, we've got such great talent, such awesome people on this squad. A lot of heart, there's a lot of fight, a lot of family. That's what that's what being a, a K-State Wildcat's all about. You now, Robert Lipson demonstrates that every, each and every time he goes on the road. One thing that I've always done, well, my buddy Jaron, I'll give him all the credit in the world for this. One thing we've always done is guess the name of the person at the toll booth. <laughs> Never got it right. Hardly half the time I get the sexes correct. Let's see what we've got here. Oh, we got a lady. I'm going to guess her name is, she looks like a Jan. I think she's a Jan. Let's see if she's a Jan. Hello. Hi, how are you? Doing well. How about yourself? Good. Good. No, thank you. Thank you, Kathy. She looks like a Jan. So it's time for a little gas. I'm in Liberty, Missouri. Um, I chose Liberty for a few different reasons. Well, I need to stop gas get already. Stop already and get gas because, you know, I'm driving a Jeep Patriot. It's economical, but the 10-gallon tank doesn't get very long, so I don't want to get stuck in BFE, Missouri, or Iowa anywhere. So might as well stop in Liberty. I chose Liberty because I like the three forty nine dollars cent gallon price. I also like the fact that Liberty, Missouri is home of William Jewell University, home of the Cardinals, which if you didn't know is the alumni of William the Conqueror, Mr. Bill Snyder himself. Man, Robert, I don't know how you can do this, man. I'm 186 miles into the trip, so let's do a quick math. That's 150-some miles away from Des Moines still. This is boring. Let's see if I can find anything good on the radio. Something's 
of John Wayne, home of the Field of Dreams, and the sights of my number six ranked Kansas State Wildcats going 6-0 on the season tomorrow, baby. I made it to Walmart. Um, first, I had to go, of course, check out the Iowa, the campus of Iowa State University, find out where Jack Trice Stadium is, pee on the front steps of Hilton Coliseum. No, no, no just joking, just joking, just joking. Uh, if you can tell my voice, I'm tired. 349 miles, 349.1 miles from Manhattan to here. Um, right about five hours. Pretty good little trip. Let's hope tomorrow gets gets crazy and wild and I'm not talking about the weather. Um, I'm going to run inside of Walmart, go piss real quick, then come back out. And I saw a few RVs over in the corner of the Walmart parking lot and then I'll <laughs> set up shop. All right, so <laughs> I feel like a complete freaking hobo right now. I'm set up, a, I'm set up in the back of my Jeep. I've got the seats in the back laid down, a couple blankets sprawled out. I'm in a Walmart parking lot in Ames, Iowa. Um, there's an RV next to me. I was kind of, kind of hoping it had Kansas tags to make me feel a little bit better about myself. I was actually really hoping to find a Robert at this bitch. But no Robert. Hard the heck tell him where he's at. He's probably already at the camp. He's probably already at the stadium. Um... So the gates open at the parking lot at 5 a.m. I'm gonna try to get up and get there as soon as can as I can. Like I said, man, I'm completely alone via Twitter. I know a few people that are gonna be here. Other than that, it's like one purple man against a sea of red. At least these aren't asshole Nebraska fans. I mean, quite honestly. Oh, home sweet home. This is actually really wasn't that bad. Just this rain outside sucks ass, so we'll go from there. Um, time for me to change. Pardon me if you don't mind. Cox Logs, Raider Rock. Still in the Walmart parking lot. But I'm, I'm getting ready to go out to Jack Tri Stadium. But before I'd go, I decided in true Robert Lipson fashion, you know, because this is the Robert Lipson project, in the a day in the likes of a K-State super fan, you gotta eat these banana chips, man. So this is my breakfast today. It's part of a well-balanced diet. Robert, man, I don't know how you do this. This tastes like shit. Yeah, can I get a uh, sausage egg McMuffin meal? Well, good morning, dude. Kansas State University. Yep. 448, honey, 450. I'm loving it. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Yeah. Have a great day. Good luck. Yes, you, well. you too. Thank Thanks. you. Bye. Gotta love the spirit. <laughs> Robert, that's what you're missing out on. I'm just entering the friendly confines of Jack Tri Stadium. Um, hopefully friendly confines. A lot of purple. There's some purple red, but there's a lot of a lot of red and yellow. Reminds me of being at a Chiefs game. Probably be about the same result for the Chiefs and the Cyclones today, huh? Well, let's see what kind of friends I can make. I have. Yeah, it was, you know, uh, we're we're going going to raise, uh, we, we need our own. We can raise the 
Okay, so what's your name? My name is Becky. Becky, where are you from? I'm from Wilton, Iowa. Wilton, Iowa. Very Wilton, nice. Iowa. Formerly Wilton Junction, Iowa. Okay, okay. So what we got going on here? What are we making over here? Well, we just finished breakfast burritos. That looks, are that done. looks amazing, by the way. That's the last one. And we had bacon over there, and now we got pork burgers going. Oh, wow. You you guys are just, you're all about it. Oh, that smells wonderful already. So now, what's your name? Hi, uh, Chris Balcock. Chris, where are you from? Uh, Norwalk. Norwalk, Iowa. Yes, sir. Another Iowa guy. Uh, so Iowa, Iowa had from 1960 to 1980 had no winning seasons, and then Hayden Fry turned them around. So that's and impressive. From Hayden. And yeah, and that's impressive in 20 years. But Bill Snyder, from 19, what was it, 1950 to 1989, when Snyder showed up? They only had four winning seasons. The guy is amazing. There's only one school that until Iowa State holds a winning record against events. And that's Kansas State. 49 of those years. 49, 42, and one. I believe is what it is. Well, yeah, no. I mean, oh, I get it. Got love the fandom, man, right there. Yeah. I will say this though. I think in in many respects. Iowa State is on the same road that Kansas State is on. They yeah. may not reach yes. the same heights that Kansas Rhodes. State is. Or Rhodes learned. Rhodes play Snyder ball. He plays right. He does play Snyder. Yeah, he, he just doesn't hide it. He well, tells I learned. He's my. He's his. Idol. Right. Well, and that's, that's, that's that's what I like so much about Iowa State. Period. Well, that, made it to the stadium. Jack Trice, section 15, row 20, seat number six. That's good neighbors. Very set up for a good game. It's gonna be a great game. Cats. Ames, six string cast right now. for the post game now um, the cats ended up walking away with a 27 to 21 victory there's a few opportunities for Iowa State to win the ball game in the fourth quarter the cats did a well they did a pretty good job of holding them off the cats didn't play their best game ever but they played with a lot of heart with a lot of fight I mean it's never easy to come back into Jack Trice Stadium and to pick up a victory you know this is actually with that home and home series that they had at Arrowhead Stadium the Farmageddon series this is the first time the, the Cats had made a trip here since 2007, and that was their first win here since 2003, the year that they won the Big 12 championship. So, pretty glad the Cats picked up a pick up a win. We had the six 0 on the season. Now we got to travel. Now we can start talking about the West Virginia game. Now we got to travel to Morgantown next week to take on a very very tough, very very hot West Virginia Mor Mountaineers team. Stafford over the back. The alma mater with the group of students that is still over there. Parks and nerves football traffic. She looks like a Barbara. I'm going with Barbara. How you doing, Diane? I'm doing good. You, nice you too, dear. Thank you. God damn it. Guess what? Just one second left. That's it. I'm home finally. Three states, 699.3 miles in 24 hours and 51 minutes. That was an epic trip. Uh, I would highly recommend going to Iowa State. The fans up there were absolutely magnificent. Met some good people. I met some friends there today. Pretty safe to say. You know, I have a complete, whole new respect on how Robert does this. You know, I'm exhausted. That was, I didn't sleep with a damn last night. I mean, obviously, how could I? Um, it was, it just ru it was rushed. The day went by quick, and I'm freaking tired. I don't know how Robert has done that 150 plus times over the last almost 40 years. That guy is a true legend. Too bad I didn't get an interview him today, but I was pretty glad I got to see him. 
Um, if you ever get a chance, go on a K-State road trip. If you've never been, you're missing out. I would highly recommend going with somebody. I'd highly recommend getting a hotel room. Um, I'd highly recommend just doing it. That's what it's all about. Plenty more road games left this year. You know, next week we got to go to West Virginia. I wish I could, I wish I could go to Morgantown. If it wasn't so damn far away, I'm sad. I, I'm probably not going to make it. But Robert will. Bet your ass, Robert Lipson will. I'm Tyler Jackson. This is the Robert Lipson Project.